who we wait for <laughs> on these carpets, and now you have arrived. I have arrived, darling. Talk to me about this fashion. Break down the look head to toe. So it's Hogan McLaughlin. It's actually a jumpsuit. So good. Every time. Um, who are these? Well, I got. I was the nails thing. were my favorite part with the ring. Lynn Bond is the jewelry, and CMB are the nails, and the butterflies are. You know, it's 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 actually um, one of the transgender um, moments. They 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 use the butterfly as a representative. You know, because you come into the world as one thing, and then you transform into another. So. Um, I'm honoring my transgender brother and sisters, brothers and sisters tonight. I've also had a transformation of my own, so I'm leaning into that, and I want to represent that. Yeah, I just, you know, I spent my whole life um, sort of bound by the chains of heteronormative masculinity, and I freed myself from that, and my life has changed exponentially. Um, and I just want to represent that and be grateful for that. And speaking of that change, that renaissance, that transformation, it seems like so much is transforming in your life. Yeah. Your story, your platform, the way you use it. It's also led to being the first male to cover Allure. Yes. So, first male on the cover of Allure. Yes, that is unbelievable. Supermodel. So <laughs> Supermodel of the world. Yes. Talk to me about what that means to you personally to make that history and then what the shoe was like. I, I'm still processing everything. You know, it's not a dream that I had because there was no context for it. You know, there was no context to dream like that. So I just didn't. This year has been about, a, last year has been about a lot of firsts. Um, embracing the unknown, embracing the positive, not dress rehearsing failure, and leaning into the joy. You know, Ryan Murphy and the whole group taught me how to dream the impossible. There are no limits. I'm not living like that anymore. I love it. I get chills just listening to you speak about it. And let's not bury the lead here. You're nominated. I am nominated. <laughs> So how does that feel to not just be here, but to be in the room critically acclaimed you know, for your work? I think that the reason why I get to resonate in this way is because the work comes first. When the work comes first and you're respected for that, then all of the other stuff is received in a different way. Um, and so I've been blessed to have this moment in this space and this time to tell that specific story, you know, a story that I lived, um, to be a representative for all my friends and colleagues that didn't make it. You know, I lived for a reason, and this is why. And I have to ask you really quickly before I let you go, you are our fashion guru, so I need you to take me back to this moment in fashion history. Yes, 20 years Versace. ago. The Versace dress, and the bitch can still wear it. Exactly. What do you remember about this moment? Do you remember the where you were when you first saw it 20 remember, years ago? I don't remember where exactly I was. What was Billy Porter remember, doing? But I remember that I was gagged. The world was gagged. We gagged. There was a collective there was, gag. There was a collective gag. And we've all been trying to live up to this since. We both turned 50 last year. So, I, you know. I'm looking good. I want to meet her. So we can hang out. Can today be the day? Can we speak that into existence? Today. I hope this is the day. Okay. We'll wait with bated breath for those photos. Good luck in there. You. you are killing it as always. Have Thank fun today. You. It's so, it's so good to see you.